Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Wanda, and I'm definitely crazy for candles. Happy Friday to everyone. Yes, I have the day right today. The day right today. It's tough, ladies and gentlemen. I'm home all the time. Home alone all the time. Mr. Drama King works overnight, 60 hours a week, and I sleep during the day. So it's me and the gods. Yeah, I am the crazy cat lady. Kind of crazy, but yeah. But sorry for the confusion for everybody. But you know, it does happen, especially when you get old. I am pushing 60, so. <laughs> but as promised today, we have a post burn candle review, and I have five. Yes, five. And I got sorry for the lighting, but. It's pretty um, overcast here in New Hampshire. It, the sun's trying to come out. Um, it's funny. We went from like almost 80 yesterday to being 60 today so far. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, maybe we'll get into the low 60s. But I just want consistent sunny weather. I'm just so ready for spring. I mean, and I, I know it's spring, but I want warmer weather. I really enjoy being outside and doing what I can do with uh, all my limitations but but we never know the cats could make an appearance because Luna's to the right of me and she's like trying to get over here and bears on the floor so we'll try to do this as we can again we have five candles to uh, do a post burn candle review I have Yankee Candle I have Bath and Body Works I have Goose Creek and I have Homeworks so the first ones I'm going to get into is probably going to be the Goose Creek, just so I can get them over. And um, I have two single wicks and three three wicks. And the first single wick that I'm going to do, I have done this before several times. It's a definitely go-to for me. And that is no other than eggnog icing from Goose Creek. Mm, still has smell. I love this candle. But you can see, um, pretty clean burn. I did not have to cotton ball it. I did not have to pour out wax. And it's pretty clear through the whole jar. Now the scent notes on this, just in case, you know, people don't remember. It is honey, cinnamon, butter, cream, caramel, soft spice, vanilla bean, and milk. I always said this um, title of this candle is so misleading because it's no eggnog. It is a rich, buttery, creamy, spicy cupcake. It is such a warm, rich, decadent, gourmand scent. It's just like a, a nice vanilla spice cupcake that just came out of the oven. It's wonderful. Now the throw, ladies and gentlemen, on that single wick, eight. On a single wick. <clears throat> if I put it into my home office, it fills up that space. It wafts out to the kitchen. Which you've seen in other videos that can't kind of like move around where the signs are. There was the doorway for the kitchen, so it goes out to the kitchen down the laundry room. <clears throat> if I put it into my bedroom, it fills up the bedroom, goes down the hallway, starts in the living room. In the living room itself, which is an open concept area, um, it does probably go down, diminish to like a seven, which is n wonderful still for a single wick candle. And just to let you know, on like the home office and my bedroom night barn, both rooms, give or take a, a foot or so, are anywhere between 14 to 18 by 20 to 24. So they're a decent size room. So with that being said, would I repurchase that candle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the single wicks are five bucks right now. I know, five bucks, especially with other sales going on, but still, it's a candle you definitely want to get. Now, the last one from Goose Creek is, I know it's a Christmas candle, but hey, we had 40 degree weather last week. 
40 degrees. Yeah, so I definitely was not in the mood to burn pineapple. And that is Letters to Santa. And it was a really cute label with all the dogs all over it and the scarves or whatever. It still smells like butt. Yeah. Sooty. Sooty mess. See that? It didn't stick to... Yeah, it did. It was... It got really, really, really bad. I tried to cotton ball a little bit, but just to hopefully take some of that soot off. But it was just a nasty, nasty burning candle. Oh, well, it's just... <clears throat> if you have cats, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I mean. Okay, Letters to Santa is cookie dough, almond milk, oatmeal, and vanilla cream. This candle is very almond forward. Very, very much almond forward. Cookie dough, the almond and the vanilla cream take over this candle with the cookie dough being the underlying note to it. So again, it's very, very almond forward and that oatmeal note, I don't know what that would do. I do believe it would give it some type of a richness to the candle. This thing is super strong. Had it into my home office. It blew me out of the office. So I didn't even try it into the bedroom. I put this, I burnt this after like the first or second burn right in the living room <clears throat> because it was so super strong the thing filled up the living room it went to the kitchen it went down the hallway really really a strong candle besides being sooty i had no problems with the pooling um the wicks the flame stayed at a consistent medium but it was a wicked strong candle <clears throat> so with that being said would i repurchase this again i don't know this one's an on the fence, really, really good fragrance, but, you know, with the, um, over sooty, you know, and the, um, stuff be dropping into the wax, even though I trim my wicks all, you know, between burns, I don't know. I will leave it at that, but it is a really good fragrance. Okay. The next one is from Bath and Body Works, and I think this came out last year I'm not really sure I know I got it on SAS you know I found it on the set and I had to have it just because you, I'm really into the nutty notes and that was none other than that sugared pecan pie and had the little you know the che cheesy kind of label with all the little you know the pie slices and the pecan pie um, white label and this is what it looks like. Yeah, I did get a, uh, a little sooty. It does look like the wicks did travel. But, you know, nothing really stuck to the wax. But again, we did have some soot issues. Now, the scent notes on this, ladies and gentlemen, is gooey brown sugar filling. Toasted pecans, homemade pie crust with natural essential oils. <sighs> this was really, really good. You got that ooey gooey caramel. You got the nutty note. You got a heavy pie crust note similar to like blueberry pie. It was really, um, you got more of the pie crust note in front. It was a buttery rich pie crust note and then you get that rich gooey filling with the pecans so I think it you know it was really really good um I would the f no problems with the pooling again it was sitting the flames stayed at a good medium but I would definitely give this throw probably around a six and a half to seven I expected more from it. I truly, honestly did. Because I've had some, um, you know, the world's best pecan pie or something to that effect. And that was much stronger. This was like a dialed down version of that. Um, it was still really, really good. It filled, it did what it needed to do. It filled up the spaces that, you know, it was in. I had it again going into... 
I didn't do it in the bedroom. I just kept it in the home office or the living room. And it filled up the space I was in. Of course, it was stronger in the home office than in the living room. But I could, when I'm in, the, when I was in the living room, I could still smell it. It still did, you know, it still traveled. It still filled up the space. So even though I expected more of this candle, yeah, I would definitely get it again. Because my pro top notes now are, you know, um, coconut, nutty scents, banana, orange, um, coffee note. So, yeah. So let's get into the next one, shall we? For Minky Candle. Hi, Bear. Thought he'd come say hi to everybody. Hold on, guys. We've all seen Luna. Now, this is Bear. He's my baby. He's camera shy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it was good at this Yankee Candle. Very, very. Beautiful, beautiful, like dark, um, raspberry, dark colored berry wax. No problems, no soot. Clean, clean, clean jar. Now, the scent notes on Mary Berry are Honey Bell Orange, Zesty Lemon, Dried Apricot, Sugar Plum, Red Raspberry, Gooseberry, Butter Cookie Accord, Tonka, Madagascar Vanilla. The scent on this, mm, a more sophisticated Linzer cookie. And we do, if you're not familiar with what a Linzer cookie is, it's a butter cookie, and they put the raspberry filling in the middle. That is definitely what it smells like. You got the sugar plum. You got the, um, I didn't get any of the lemon or the, um, the orange. What I did get on this, um, was the sugar plum and the raspberry. You get a little tartness and you get a little sweetness. So it wasn't completely tart like a raspberry would be. It was, you know, you did get some sweetness to it. And then that underlying note of the butter cookie and the vanilla just really tied it up together. It made a nice, wonderful, authentic to me, Linzer cookie. Now, the, even though this is considered their small jars, I'm giving this a definite six six and a half. Uh, I did not put this in the living room. It stayed in the home office or the bedroom and it filled that space. It wasn't overpowering, but you could smell you had this candle going and it was really, really nice. Would I repurchase this again? Yeah, I would. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a single wick and it filled the space. Um, I think I do have a double wick of it somewhere in my collection because you know Yankee always has their wonderful sales and um, this was definitely one that I would repurchase again and last but least is from Homeworks and this is none other than Sunday morning cereal the labels are so cute it still has scent to it but look at this yeah, I lost a wick. Not only did all the wicks travel, but I lost a wick. Yeah, not good, not good. So I'm I'm done with this. It's pretty much I had one, maybe one burn left. Uh, but maybe two if I really pushed it. But I lost a wick, and like I said, they traveled. But I didn't have um, sitting issues. Look at that, you know. You just touch them with your finger, though, in these puny little wicks just break disappointing ladies and gentlemen to say the least that's my biggest thing probably with the homeworks brand is their puny little wicks but their scent notes in this is crushed cereal wild cherry ripe strawberry and sweetened milk this made me run to the store for a box of fruit loop cereal 
This candle smells like sticking your head into a box of Fruit Loop cereal. I got lemon and lime primarily. Lemon, lime, and orange. And then, you know, and then a berry, cherry or strawberry, you know. But definitely lemon, lime. I didn't get a milk note. I did not get much of a cereal note. It was basically the um, fruit notes. And, like, if you stuck your head exactly into a um, box of Fruit Loop cereal, you know, that's exactly what it smells like. The throw on this was wonderful. Wonderful. I'm giving it an 8. It was too much for my home office, so I put it in the living room. It filled up the living room. It filled up the kitchen. You could, f it actually competed with the candle that I had with going on in the home office. This was a great candle, ladies and gentlemen. A truly wonderful candle. I just wish they would do something with their wicks. I really do. Even though I had the issues with this, would I repurchase this candle again? Yes. Not at thirty dollars. Um you know, I know they have a lot of sales and stuff and you can get them for twenty four, twenty two. That yeah, that's great, you know. When they go sixteen ninety nine, then I'll get another one. But I definitely would repurchase this one. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, for my five candles. Um, I'm burning under the sun first time today. I'll have a current burn review probably tomorrow. You know, I want to give it a couple tries. Yep, we'll see. You gotta wait. Sorry. Just don't want this one. It's not woodworthy. So, I hope everybody has um, liked this, this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, you know, I'm trying to, you know, stay motivated with the channel, but it's kind of getting kind of hard. So, I hope everybody has a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. And for all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Hopefully your day is wonderful. And I'll see everybody soon.